The Springfield Police Department is continuing to crack down on illegal dirt bikes after successful operations last week confiscated 20 illegal bikes. Many people now say they are pleased to feel safer on the roads. Western Mass News reporter Lindsay Kane is live in Springfield with more. Lindsay. Chris, I spoke to a father who says dirt bikers terrorized him with his 10 month old son also in the car. He says he's looking forward to police taking more and more of these vehicles off the roads. We would literally watch the cops play tag with the vehicles. Nicholas Foley tells Western Mass News he's seen the dirt bike issue in the city of Springfield firsthand. It was literally nonstop every single night and it was affecting it to the point where like you know, like sleep was being affected. He says he could hear the illegal riders from his house on Liberty Street as he would get ready to put his son to bed. He says he fears for his family's safety when driving around the city. I've been driving and they've been this here and on this side and they will literally be doing wheelies on both sides of my car with my baby screaming and it's they they're laughing. That's why he's thrilled to see the police department's recent successful crackdown taking more and more of these bikes off the roads. We were able to get uh, 20 illegal off highway vehicles, most of them dirt bikes or ATVs off the street and 17 arrests. This video released by Mass State Police, you can see some of those arrests from the air wing used to catch these illegal riders. You can see the bikes weaving in between traffic and speeding down the road. But spokesperson for the Springfield Police Department, Ryan Walsh, tells Western Mass News some riders do far more than just speed. There's been numerous incidents already this year where dirt bikers in packs will swarm a car. They will start kicking your side view mirror, damaging your car. And there was one incident where uh, someone on a dirt bike pulled out a firearm and shot, shot at someone who was driving a car. Walsh says with warmer weather on the way again, this won't be the last successful operation. Not one and done. Um, we can't reveal our strategy. If you're going into the Super Bowl, I don't think Bill Belichick's handing over his game plan before we go out. But even if there's not a... Walsh says four of those bikes were reported as stolen and they're hopeful to get those back to their proper owners. Live in Springfield, Lindsey Kane, Western Mass News.